Hello guys, it's Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Juice B versus Avenger 1091, and this is going to be a post LEDE match, and let's go ahead and hop right in, so we see Avenger win the Rocky versus the shoot, and they will decide to go first 41 versus 40, opening hands, we have Tenpai Dragon, Jongdora, Pot of Prosperity, Droplet, Nib, and Ogre, okay, so I mean, this is what's gonna happen, a lot of the deck's gonna like, you know, open a couple going second cards, like every single hand, uh, they have Foolish Burial Goods, Mirage Force, Nightmare Magician, Nightmare Apprentice, and Foolish. Okay, so I know this one's already out, but I'm going to have to reread over it. Okay, so Mirage Force, this says when an opponent's monster declares an attack, special one illusion monster from your hand or grave. And if you do, return the attacking monster to the hand. Uh, then its other effect is if a face-up illusion monster or monsters you control lead the field by an opponent's card effect while this card's in your graveyard, you can banish this card for cost, special summon one illusion monster from your hand or grave. Okay, 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 interesting card to play. Now, uh, Nightmare Magician. So, if this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed out of that battle. At the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can take control of that opponent's monster uh, once per turn at the start of damage step. If another monster attacks, you can destroy one card on the field. And then Nightmare Apprentice says you could special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. You can only special summon it once per turn this way. Uh, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can add one illusion monster from the decks of the hand except for a copy of Nightmare Apprentice. You can only use this effect on Nightmare Apprentice once per turn. And then if a card, wait, or if this card battles a monster, now it can be destroyed by that battle. Okay, this card seems really good, honestly. Um, but okay, they're going to go ahead and start this off. With a Foolish Burial Goods to go dump a Transaction Rollback. Okay. Now, Special Summon Out Nightmare Apprentice by Discarding Effect. Go ahead, search out Cornfield. Sure. Cornfield Effect. Discard. Go ahead, search out Mirror Sword Knight. And then Summon Mirror Sword Knight Tribute. Bring out the Big Wing Performant Effect. They ogre that, so that way, you know, they don't have a Fiend... Uh, to try to go ahead and fuse off with Chimera Fusion. Go ahead, search Chimera Fusion, Gazelle. That's fine. Activate Foolish Burial to go dump Diabells of the Original Sin. Oh, it's like a Diabellister, but Diabells. Um, if a Sinful Spoils card is in either graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, you can only special summon it once per turn this way. Your opponent can activate spells or trap cards that were not set. Okay, uh, if either player sets a spell or trap card on the field, while this card's on the field, you can target one card you control, one card the opponent controls, destroy them. That doesn't seem that good to me. It is an illusionist. It doesn't seem that good to me, though. Activate Chimera Fusion. It's, like, fine. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and make Burfalmet the mythical king of the phantom beasts. Okay, yeah, because that's an illusion. That's a beast. All right, now... New chain link, uh, Gazelle and Burfomet. So we're going to go ahead and grab Emissary from the House of Wax. <laughs> sure. Uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, special summon this card from your hand, you can only use this effect of House of Wax once per turn. If this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by that battle. At the end of the opponent's battle phase, you can activate this effect until the start of your opponent's next battle phase. All attack position monsters... Your opponent control currently controls cannot change their battle positions, nor can they be used for a fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link summon. Also, their effects are negated. Okay. Uh, then they're going to go ahead and dump the Master Toe from the deck, and the Master Toe effect the special summon back out from the graveyard. Okay. So I was going to bring out the Nightmare Apprentice. That's fine. Activate Chimera Fusion effect. Add back. Uh, wait. Doesn't... Uh, also, you can have special monsters from the extra for the rest of the turn, except for fusion monsters! Come on, now. I knew this card had the restriction on it. This is the only one out of that whole engine that has the restriction, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this I know this doesn't. Yeah, okay, so they are making this when they're not supposed to be able to. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, do they really play Foolish Burial Goods just to dump this? When you make Beatrice that dumps both anyways? Uh, sure. I guess it helps you play around, like, Droplet if you have both engraved on your turn. Then on their turn, you could just try to dump something else. Uh, but they're gonna go ahead, drop Rock, pass over the token. I mean, they definitely, like, cheated there on accident. Uh, but that was still, like, 
kind of cool. A lot of cards I haven't seen before. Uh, they draw Terraforming. Now activate Terraforming. Go ahead, search out Brimming from the decks of the hand. Okay. And then anything on resolution. I mean, they shouldn't have anything on resolution there. There's only someone's back out a banished one. They don't have any banished yet. I guess they do have the transaction rollback that they can use to target this. And this just makes us that way. Now your player can sell someone monsters from the hand, deck, or extra deck for the rest of the turn. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that should hurt this deck really bad. Uh, activate Pot of Prosperity. Go ahead, banish six. And then look at the top six. Alright, so we go ahead and... I feel like this just grabs non-engine to try to stop the opponent next turn. Because we already have enough engine for our turn to get stopped by the trap. Yeah, so we're just going to grab Ash Blossom and put the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck there. Okay, that's fine. Activate Brimming. Brimming, go ahead, search out Bidora. And then discard Ash. Oh, okay, or we just add Ash just to discard it. Okay, uh, normal summon out Bidora. Bidora effect, go search out the quick play spell. Uh, okay, so once again, this says hand, deck, or extra. Okay, because this adds the hand, and then specials. Okay, we can't do that then. Uh, so yeah, just let him read it. Uh, now, yeah, we try to activate Jean Dora, and then they're going to chain, which means they cannot special summon from the hand or anything now. So battle phase, beat over token, attack with 17, main phase 2, set droplet. We don't set the quick play spell. Uh, sure. I feel like you would set it there, though. Especially in case we want to go, like, activate Chain Droplet. I mean, this card can still search. Uh, they draw an Imperm there. Also, oh, wait, they couldn't use that, right? Because you can't special summon from... Wait, but you can summon from the Graveyard. Hand deck or extra deck. So couldn't they have activated this to summon from the Graveyard? Return that to hand? And then now you have an Illusionist, so you could have brought out, like, Sword Knight. Sword Knight seems kind of crazy there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, now they're just going to go set Imperm Pass, draw Droll. They go Normal Summon out these Jean Dora. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, make Black Rose, and then Black Rose Dragon Effect to pop the field. They try to chain Imperm, but it's unaffected by that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, let's say Black Rose needs to go to then Battle Phase activate Quick Play spell. Now they still have this. Uh, I guess you just use House of Wax. Yeah, I guess you just use House of Wax. That kind of sucks. Though. It can't be destroyed by battle, so they're just gonna keep poking into it. Add Summon out Fedora. Fedora effects Summon out Jongdora. Attack with 16. Activate House of Wax. Special Summon out. Okay. And then now they just attack with 15. They could have redeclared with this. Um, but sure, go ahead, attack with this, and then activate the effect. Oh, I guess they did redeclare with that. Okay, then effect, special summon out by Dora, then by Dora effect. Go ahead and set the field spell. That's fine. Yeah, so attack with that. And then they will go ahead, quick synchro into the Sun Gun. Effect special back out from the graveyard. And then declare the attack. Wait, no, no, okay. They're going to summon out the Bidora instead. Okay, sure. Attack with the synchro. And then activate to go ahead and make the Sun Gun Super Dragon Transcendent Dragon. Okay, so this will put that to attack. Oh, and it can't be destroyed by battle. That's so funny. Okay, so that's just game. Yeah, effect, switch to attack. We have Synchro Special Summon itself back out from the graveyard too. Okay, so going on to the next game, we will go ahead and we will see Avenger go first. Opening hands, we have Pot of Prosperity, Bidora, Imperm, Called by Nib. They have Wabaku, uh, Nightmare Apprentice, D-Barrier, Wanted Super... Okay, it's not supposed to be Wabaku, bro. Okay, if you're going to play one of those cards, it's 100% the Red Moon Roar because Wabaku... They're still going to attack. They're still going to build a board off attacking. You're supposed to flip threatening roar. Or... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely supposed to be threatening roar. Maybe, maybe something else. Maybe something else. But between those two, it's definitely threatening roar. Uh, wanted. Go grab out Black Witch. Okay. Also, how is this card worded? Add a Diabella Star. Okay. So, I can't add the Diabella Z or whatever the other one was. Summon out Nightmare Apprentice. Get rid of Super Poly. Effect to go ahead and search. Grab out Cornfield. Yeah. 
Activate Cornfield Effect, Discard, Go Grab Out Mirror Sword Knight, and then Normal Summon Out Sword Knight, Effect, Tribute, Bring Out Big Winged, Big Winged Effect to go ahead and search now. Because I'm pretty sure how they are supposed to do the combos, like Cornfield, Sword Knight, Sword Knight, Tribute, Bring Out, Gazelle, and then Gazelle Effect to go search, and then you're supposed to already have another one in hand, or something like that, then you can make the... The Performant Fusion, the one that lets you dump, and then that can dump you Shyama. Chimera Fusion, add back, set Chimera Fusion, Shyama, pop it, summon. Something like that. I, I know they did it wrong. I know they keep doing it wrong. It's something like that, though. Summon out Black Witch by Sunbeam Effect. What does this go for? Sinful Spoils Cycle. Take one five or higher Illusion Monster from your deck and either add it to their hand or special summon it. Okay, uh, if summon this way, you cannot activate its effects during the main phase of this turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one face down card you control, return it to the hand, then you can set one spell or trap card from your hand. You can only use each effect of this once per turn. Okay, uh, now set D barrier, then we make a SP. Sure, that's fine. Uh, they're gonna activate rock. Uh, let's see, I mean, Apprentice, Sword Knight, Big Wing, Black Witch, SP. Okay, yep, checks out. So, summon that over, and then pass. They draw the Jondora. Okay, so they're also going to set Wabaku, and then they're going to activate Pot of Prosperity. Go ahead, banish six. Look at the top six. Uh, field Spell is looking pretty good there. Yeah, Field Spell is looking pretty good against three back row. But I guess it's only two back row, because we know Sinful Spoil Cycle isn't really a back row. Well, actually, this could end up being an interruption. I don't know what they're going to summon. I feel like that's just, like, follow-up at this point. Uh, activate Brimming. Brimming Effect. Go search out by Dora. And then Discard Called by. Normal Summon out by Dora. Go ahead, search out the Quick Play spell. Sure. Special out Zhang Dora. So I don't know why we searched by Dora. I guess we'll find out. Uh, now they're going to make Black Rose Dragon, and then activate Black Rose Dragon effect to go pop. They're going to go Chain Sinful Spoil Cycle, Chain D Barrier Calling Synchro, which will shut this down because I read this wrong before. It's not unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Unaffected, like, it's unaffected by activated effects, all right? It's unaffect unaffected by activated effects, not just unaffected by everything. Uh, then they're going to go ahead and activate Wabaku. So, yeah, they're... Uh, I can't tell what they're saying. Oh, I think that they're saying that the Black Rose still goes through, but that's not how it works. That is not how it works. You know, it's very good to learn these things now before the deck comes out, because I feel like this is actually an interaction that could come up a decent amount. It's like D-Barrier versus Black Rose, because, like, you don't have to flip it preemptively uh, because of that interaction, which is very good to know. Uh, now they're gonna go, okay, so they added the Nightmare Apprentice, which is the discard special, add an illusion. Okay, now we're gonna go activate quick play spell, add special, and then attack, effect, special, yup, and then that's gonna bring out the Fedora, and then effect on summon, special back out. They're going to, brother, what? Huh? Yeah, you can't activate... Okay, it's a quick play spell on the field, not in the graveyard. Spells are chain link one in the graveyard. It's not like a trap card. Uh, a trap card could work like that. Um, but, okay. Yeah, so they're supposed to have the trap in graveyard still. Make seal, pass, they draw Eye of the Illusion. If you control an illusion... Our spellcaster monster activate one of these effects. Your illusion and spellcaster monsters cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. During your opponent's turn, target one face of monster. Your opponent controls take control of it till the end phase. Whenever an opponent's monster declares an attack target, one face of monster. Your opponent controls accept the attacking monster, change the attack target to it, and perform damage calc. Wait. When an opponent declares an attack target, one face of monster. Oh, that's kind of sick. So you can make your opponent attack their own monster? Okay. Uh, so they're going to go Wanted, yeah, put back the one that they already put back, draw Eye of Illusion, and then Special Discard Effect to go ahead and add Mere Sword Knight. Okay, Battle Phase, Force Out Seal, Seal Effect Tribute, Bounce Back, Seal Effect goes Summon, bring out Fadora, and then Fadora Effect to Special Back out the Jondora, 
That's fine. Yeah, so let's bring out multiple bodies. Sure. Normal summon out Mirror Sword Knight. Tribute. Bring out Big Winged. And then now they're going to go Big Winged Effect to go ahead. Search out for a Chimera Fusion and a Gazelle. All right. Activate the Chimera Fusion to go ahead and make the Chimera the King of the Phantom Beasts. One, two, three. Wow, they just submit defeat. Really? You admit defeat there? Um, I don't know. I, f I feel like that's definitely like still a winnable game, right? You can only summon this once per turn. There's something back out of Mere Sword Knight. Yeah, uh, uh, like, I don't know this deck that well, but like, come on now. You you got to be able to win a game against literally one monster interruption. That's that's all it is so far. I mean, they ripped a card from your hand. Oh no, you still have your draw for turn. Uh, but okay, going on to the next game now. We will go ahead and we will see Tenpai Dragon force the opponent to go first. We have Harpy's Feather Duster, Ash Blossom, Pot of Prosperity, Cosmic Nib. We have Super Poly, uh, Sinful Spoil Cycle, Master Toe, Wabaku, and Foolish. Okay, so activate Foolish Burial. Dump the Diabells of the Original Sin and then set, set, set. Pass. They draw Pot of Prosperity. Activate Cycle. We Ash Blossom it. Main Phase, Harpies, the Chain Wabaku. Sure. Uh, activate Pot of Prosperity, which, I mean, I'm guessing they want the Super Poly discard this and then get that effect to summon this out, which is not bad. I feel like maybe we should have just foolish a different monster then. Uh, but okay, activate Pot of Prosperity. Banish. Unless if this only summons from... No, this goes from deck. Yeah, yeah, it goes from deck. So it's not like it's just Grieve. So Pot of Prosperity, look at the top six. Grab Brimming. Now they can't go for a game because of Wabaku. But because they can still attack, they can still set up something here. Uh, so activate. Go ahead, search out by Dora. Then discard Pot of Prosperity. Normal by Dora. Effect. Go grab out the Quick Play spell. Battle phase. Activate Quick Play spell. Add and then special. Okay. And then we can go attack. Jean Dora effect goes special. Uh, they said, hold on, thinking, okay, so they bring out the Fedora. Yeah, that's fine. And then attack, attack, activate Fedora effect to synchro off up into the Biden Dragon effect, special back out, and then effect the special back out. All right, effect to go ahead and synchro. Bring out the, wait, okay, it takes one tuner, synchro monster. Okay, yeah, checks out, sure. So, summon, and then this is the one that burns, right? Yeah, every time the opponent activates a monster effect, uh, place a counter on this. When that effect resolves, inflict 700 damage to the opponent. So then, effect to summon itself back out from the graveyard, effect a synchro, summon out the transcendent, and then they're going to turn those into seal. Okay, Transcendent Effect, Special Itself Back Out, and then Set Cosmic Pass. Uh, if three or more attacks would have cleared this turn, you special... Probably should have done this during End Phase, to be honest, to play around like a potential Nib there. Uh, just because we can activate this during End Phase. Yeah, and this can destroy one card on the field, so then if they drop Nib, we can also pop the Nib. They draw a Master Toe, so it only gets if it's sent to Graveyard. Okay, and then this card... This card doesn't do anything, though. I just don't get why we dumped this and not literally anything else. I mean, we would lose here anyways because seal bounce, but, like, imagine they didn't have seal. Oh, you can't even crash this. Never mind. That's true. You can't even crash that. I guess it was just never working there. Okay. Yeah, so they show cosmic plus rock. And then... All right. So we will go ahead and see that the match was about 32 minutes long. Uh, definitely some mistakes. Uh, like misplays, illegal activations, uh, wrong deck building with Wabaku over threatening Roar. Uh, this deck, uh, it has a bunch of new cards in it. I don't, I don't think we will end up playing all of them though. I highly doubt it. I don't know. That seemed like, I don't know. Like, like a lot of these cards just seemed worse than the pure Chimera deck that we already have. Some of them did seem good, though, like the one that discards specials, go ahead, search an illusion. That's not bad. It gives you level 6 access to, like, Beatrice try to, like, FTK the opponent. I can definitely see something like that end up being played, or... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what end up being played in this deck. I don't think that was, like, the greatest showcase of this deck. 
I think it was like an okay sh showcase of this deck, but they did get hit with Wabaku a few different times, so they didn't really get to like OTK, but like still got to like build a board there, I guess through Wabaku. Um, but I mean, this this doesn't actually do anything, right, on their turn? Yeah, this doesn't do anything on their turn. But the seal plus this, this is just a bunch of burn damage, and this is just a seal. So I guess this doesn't even do that much either. It's literally just like a weaker masquerade. It does a hundred more per monster effect, but it doesn't count for spells or anything like that. So it's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. This is this this is probably really good if you can like attack for a bunch of damage and then summon this when your opponent's at like you know, like, 2k-ish or less, then it's like, alright, now you have to, like, out this while only using, like, one or two monsters, and then even if you, like, get to SP to banish this or something, then you still have to be able to push with the rest of your cards, uh, and also, if you SP against this deck, that means you're not ending the game, uh, but, oh, wait, this also, yeah, this won't be unaffected, though, because it's not a fire dragon, it's also during your main phase only, okay, yep, 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 y